welcome back to the Ultimate Decades Challenge. We are currently in the third day of 1316, so we are still very much in the thick of the famine. Last episode, the family was robbed and lost all of their food. Honora survived her death roll into a teen. And in today's episode, we are going to be following Honora and her story and see what she decides. Does she run away? What happens? What does she do? Because our girl has been going through it. And so you guys really came through in the comments with so many ideas. I have been planning what I want to do for this episode all week. So without further ado, let's go ahead and dive in to today's episode. All right, so we are here with Anora, and she is just messing around on her dad's blacksmithing station. And so Kendrick comes out here and is like, hey, Anora, like, what, what are you doing? You should not be messing around with my tools. And so she is just gonna stop doing that and they are gonna go ahead and have a little chat and she is just gonna express to him how badly she wants a sword. And Kendrick is just like, kiddo, what do you what do you need a sword for? You've got you've got your bows and arrows, you've been working on archery since you were a little kid. What do you need a sword for? And Honora is just like, Well, Jasper got a sword and you know, we were robbed and I need to be able to protect us and our family and protect myself. And Kenrick is just gonna let her know, like, kiddo, you know that's like not your responsibility, right? Like you don't, it's like not your responsibility to have to take care of our family. <laughs> and that obviously made her very upset to be told that it is not her responsibility to protect everyone. I think she's telling Kenrick, like, you know, Jasper got a sword, he got to be a knight. It's just not fair. Like, I don't want to sew dresses and milk cows and get married and have kids. Like, I just want adventure and I want to do my own thing. And so tensions are high. I think she's definitely just feeling extremely misunderstood. Ooh, Anora and Kendrick now have the difficult family dynamic. That definitely checks out to what is happening right now. So I'm actually gonna say yes, because she is definitely struggling. So I actually have a new mod that was recommended to me in my Discord. It is a teen runaway mod. I'll put the name of the mod and the creator on the screen. And basically it gives us the option to start a runaway plan so now it says, Honora has been given the troubled teen trait. They can discuss how unhappy they are in research running away from home on the computer. So now this is gonna give us a couple of different interactions that she can use. And so if I could click on Kenrick now, she has the option under troubled teen and we have all of these different options. So I'm just gonna have her complain about life. Like this is not fair. Like how come Jasper got to do everything and I don't? And so now she's acquired the street survival skill. So we will try this mod out in today's episode. But I think for right now, Kendrick is gonna say, you know what kiddo, we need to get inside. Mom has boiled us up some eggs. Everyone needs to get some food. We haven't had anything to eat yet today. I know you've gotta be starving. So let's go ahead and head inside. All right, so we are back inside with everyone and everyone is just gonna go ahead and get them some boiled eggs that Rosalind made. But I think what's gonna happen is Honora is going to refuse to eat. Even though she is very hungry, I think she's still feeling extremely bitter about the last time she didn't get food. And honestly, she's just kind of feeling like a burden to the family at this point. She feels like she's old enough to go it alone and she just feels like she is one too many mouths to feed. And so I think Rosalyn is actually going to argue about house rules. She's gonna be like, Nora, why are you not eating? Like we already barely have enough food. Like you need to go ahead and get you something. And like, they just don't understand like what's going on with her. And then I'll just have her um, discuss why she's unhappy. And so I think what she's gonna do is Honora is just going 
oh my gosh, Rosalind is mad. She's like, young lady, we have given you everything. Why are you so unhappy? Like we are struggling as it is. Like, why can't you just be grateful? And that is really gonna piss her off. She is super tense. Oh my gosh, she is so tense. So I think what Honora is gonna do is she is gonna come up here and she is going to head out to go um, hunting. It is super late in the night but she is gonna go out she's gonna go foraging and she is gonna go hunting she's basically just gonna run off to the forest kenrick chased out after her to not go but unfortunately she left anyway and so he's just gonna go back inside Kenrick is just letting Rosalind know that he went out there. He tried to stop her, but she ran off into the forest. They're quite worried. It's really, really late. Oh my God, now Adeline and Kenrick have a difficult relationship. I'm going to say no. He's like, she ran off into the forest and Rosalind is really worried, very upset. And so they're not sure what's going to happen to her. She's out all alone. It's really late. It's not safe. There's been so much crime. But all they can do right now is honestly take care of the younger girls. They can't worry about it too much. They figure she will be back. Let's see. Let's get everyone to bed. May's going to go ahead and go to sleep. And Adeline as well. They are fighting now. I don't. They just don't really know how to handle this situation. Like Jasper was always like a pretty good kid. Like he didn't cause a whole lot of problems. And so they're already like really struggling so much after losing Papa Cedric and then the house getting robbed and everything. So she's gonna tell Kendrick, you know, you need to go out and look for her. Like it's not safe out there. Like even though she knows how to shoot her arrow and stuff like that, she really doesn't know like what she's getting herself into. Aw, and now she's feeling sad. I feel like that makes sense. Like, first she was really angry, but now she's feeling really sad because she just doesn't know. She's so worried about Honora because, of course, she loves her, even though Honora feels like the family doesn't understand her. Obviously, her family, they love her very much. So let's go ahead and get Penelope to bed. And so that's all she can do right now. We've just got to take care of the little girls. So Rosalind and Kenrick have just been waiting up for a while, but Honora has been gone for pretty much the entire night and she hasn't come back yet. They're both feeling really worried, but they are no longer able to really wait up any longer. They're super tired. So they are gonna both go ahead and, well, we'll just say they like fell asleep. Um, so they tried waiting up for her, but it didn't work and now Honora is back and it looks like she had a pretty rough go of it um she is actually feeling really terrified right now so i feel like she must have had a pretty bad run-in out in the woods that was her first time to ever actually go out into the forest on her own every other time that she's gone before she has either been with papa cedric or kenrick and so something definitely happened out there maybe she will let us know but for right now she is feeling really frustrated terrified angry tense all of the things and so i think what she's gonna do is she is gonna go down to the family cellar really quickly um, because she did get quite a lot of stuff on her hunting and foraging trip and even though she disagrees with her family she obviously the biggest thing is she wants them all to be taken care of she's really just taken on this huge responsibility that is not really hers to carry but she just feels like you know she's the oldest now and Jasper's gone Papa Cedric's gone like she just sort of has that in her that she feels like she has to um, kind of step up even though they're sort of not letting her do that. So she is gonna go ahead and leave them some garlic. She's also gonna leave them the duck that she caught as well as the squirrel. And she is gonna hold on to the bird's eggs because I think, okay, she can't eat those. So we're gonna take them. Anything she like basically can't eat in her inventory, I'm gonna go ahead and get ready. She's gonna leave the hair that she caught. So she's basically left them with quite a lot of food options. She has some blueberries for herself. 
And now I think she's going to just go ahead and head inside and she's going to take care of her needs really quickly. She's still feeling really hungry and she is going to refuse to eat um, anything that is for the family. All right, so she's had a quick bath. We're going to use the chamber pot and then... I think what she's gonna do is while everyone's sleeping, it's like 7 a.m., she knows everyone is going to be waking up very, very soon. So she is going to head out. She sees this as her opportunity. She's gonna just sneak out in middle of the night. Okay, I am gonna go ahead and cheat away this terrified. Honestly, it was working with the storyline for a little bit, but <laughs> it's got her acting all sorts of weird. Okay, so I'm gonna cheat that mood little way. But what she's going to do is she's got a little hideaway spot that she has gone to since her and Jasper were a kid. They used to come up to this little spot up here. So she is going to go ahead and sneak out. And it is daylight now, so she has to be a little bit careful to not be spotted. All right, so she has made it to her little hideaway spot and I did use the tool mod to place a little hunting and foraging thing here. She's not super far from home at the moment so she is just going to get her thoughts together and try to figure out what her next move is going to be. For right now she does have a tent so we're going to go ahead and she is just going to go ahead and get a little bit of much needed sleep. So for right now um, Rosalind and Kendrick actually don't know about this little spot. Her and Jasper used to just sneak off um, when they were younger. So for right now, we are going to head back to the main household. So Kendrick and Rosalind are now waking up. They realize that they fell asleep and they notice that Honora's bed is empty, that she did not come home. So they are really, really worried about what happened to her. They're scared. Did something happen to her out in the forest? So once Kendrick takes care of his needs, I think he is going to head back out. I'm going to send him um, hunting. Actually, instead of sending him hunting, I'm actually going to send him just like on a stroll to the forest. I'm gonna um, send him on his own so Rosalind can take care of the other kids, but basically he is gonna go out to the forest to go see if he can find Anora. And in the meantime, all of the girls are really hungry. Rosalind is very stressed. She doesn't think they have anything right now that she can make for the girls. I think she's gonna go ahead and hug the girls because she is just so grateful that they are okay. She is going to figure out what she has to do to get them some food. So I think she's going to go ahead. She's going to go down to the cellar and see what we've got. Okay, and then she notices that there's like way more food here than before. And she's like, that's really weird. Like, where did all of this stuff come from? She's like, surely Anora did not bring this back. But that seems to be like the only logical explanation. So she's going to go ahead and let's see, we're going to grab the squirrel. I'm not sure... I don't think we can really make all that much with what we've got. I'll grab the seeds and the acorn. Maybe we can make some like bread. I don't even know if that's enough. Okay, we can't make any ingredients. Can't make any pantry foods. So even though we do have a little bit of meat, it's not enough to actually prepare anything. So I think for this morning, she is actually going to have to make some gruel for everyone just so they can get by we did just get the pop-up that the mail has been delivered so i believe that will be the chicken uh, the only issue is the chicken is not compatible with the yield cookbook mod so i've got to figure out how i'm actually going to like utilize the chicken <laughs> so we'll see how that goes because honestly it gave us like quite a lot um, let's see, did Kendrick come back? Okay, so Kendrick is back from going search in the forest. 
So he is just going to let Rosalind know that he had a look around. He was able to find a few tracks, um, but he did not find her anywhere. And so for right now, they're just going to go ahead and get the girls fed and have some gruel. All right, kiddos, this is all we've got for today. There are a few boiled eggs left, so I'm, those don't spoil. <laughs> Honestly, there's three left in the serving and then like one half-eaten plate. So I am going to hold on to those in case like the girls need those. But everyone is just going to go ahead and get themselves some gruel. If I had been thinking, I would have given them the eggs and just done gruel for um Kenrick and Rosalind but I <laughs> forgot about that I was focusing on everything with Honora but these guys are just gonna have their breakfast they have not said anything to the girls about Honora running off but um May and Adeline can kind of sense what's going on Penelope being so little she doesn't have any idea what's going on but I think for right now, we are going to leave the main family and we are going to go and catch up with the Nora side of the story and see what's going on with her. All right, so we are back with the Nora and it is now 9 p.m. in the evening. She basically spent the day resting in her tent and she did a little bit of foraging. She now has on hand three cherries three blueberries and three mushrooms that she can eat straight out of her inventory. So that should get her by for just a little while while she's out on the road. Now that it's nighttime, she's all packed up and she feels like it's, I wouldn't say safer to travel, it's safer for her to travel in the sense that she's less likely to be spotted, but definitely not safe in the sense that, you know, bad things can happen out alone on the road at night. So she is trying to be mindful of that but she is just currently making her way through the kingdom looking for a good spot to set up her camp for the night. And so as she's running along the street, she notices this sort of abandoned looking stable and some horses and there is a man out here and she realizes that it's Favel and she hasn't seen him since the family had to get rid of him and so she is actually being the girl that she is she is going to do a let's see if it will let us do a rude introduction okay so for some reason i don't have any interactions to be able to like make an introduction to him but i would have really liked her to have had um been able to interact with him but she is gonna go ahead and go up to favel and do a friendly introduction and she's like favel it's me anora and so <laughs> he is so excited she's just gonna scratch his neck i wish we could interact with this guy i had more of a plan that she was gonna like get in an argument with him and like claim that this was her horse and all of that but what we're gonna do, I got this idea from you guys in the comments. It might make gameplay a little bit tricky because obviously then now we're gonna have to take care of a horse. But you guys gave me the idea that Honora finds Favel and steals him back and I just love that. I thought that would be a great storyline for her. And so here we are, we have found Favel and we are going to rescue our poor baby because I do see Honora a lot more as a lone wolf, but she loves and trusts her horse. She has been such a natural horse rider. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and add Favel to our family. We will figure out how to take care of him. But in the meantime, she is gonna go ahead and get her horse all saddled up and she is gonna ride off into the night. So Honora is off and now that she has Favel, she's able to cover a lot more ground a lot more quickly. And so I think what she's gonna do is try to make her way to the crumbling aisle. She has a thought that maybe she can reach out to Jasper and see if he might help her or just figure out she knows there's a lot more opportunity over on the crumbling aisle with the castle and everything being there. So her and Favel are gonna start their long journey to the crumbling aisle. So Honora has made it to the crumbling aisle with Favel. It has been quite the journey 
And so she is just currently making her way through the forest in the Crumbling Isle. She knows that the castle where Jasper is staying should be located somewhere around here. So she's trying to just find a location that is nearby so she can set up camp and so she has made it she sees the castle but of course she knows it is definitely not safe to go in so she is going to go ahead and just get her and Favel set up for the night so she is just going to look for a place where she can set up her camp for the night so she's just going to hide over here behind these rocks and set up her tent and then she is super super hungry actually she needs to use a bathroom there's actually a bush right here that she can use so she is going to do that and then she's going to have some blueberries of course she cannot light a fire during the night because then she might be spotted but we are going to go ahead and eat some blueberries i'm going to go ahead and call fobble over because i had an exception error and it made fobble <laughs> disappear but i want to show that fobble is with her and so let's see yeah he is very hungry as well so we are going to go ahead and hand feed him some blueberries as well. There you go, Favel. That's a good boy. All right, Favel, we're just staying here for the night, okay, buddy? So she is going to go ahead and go to sleep in her tent, and then we will have a fresh start in the morning where she will try to see if she can get into the castle to see Jasper. All right, so Anora has some bad news. During the night, she got up to do a little bit more hunting to gather a little bit more food for her and Favel. And unfortunately, it being super dangerous out in the forest and there being a lot more people on the crumbling aisle, she has fallen into a little bit of trouble. Unfortunately, as she was walking through the forest, a group of people have come up to her and held her up at knife point and are basically asking her a lot of questions. Who is she? Where did she come from? What is she doing out in the forest all on her own? They're seeing if she has any food or money or anything like that they can take from her. And of course, she doesn't have any money, but she does have a little bit of food. So they are just starting to question her. But of course, our girl is tough as nails and she is going to find a way to get herself out of this situation. So she is probably just making up some story. She's, I assume, not telling the whole truth, but she is finding a way to talk herself out of this situation and these people are starting to realize that they have a lot more in common and that Honora is not a threat. Um, and so they're all just sharing stories about how they've run away and they actually, you know, they're not sure if they can trust her. They obviously don't know Honora, but they do have a little bit of a campsite set up. And it being so late in the night, they have invited Honora back to their little campsite that they have over here. So they are all going to just make their way over to the campsite. So they're just showing her where they are all set up. And so these guys are like less concerned about lighting fire at night. They're hidden by the side of the mountain. So this is Dante. He is going to go ahead and get a fire started so everyone can warm up. And there's Favel. Favel has made. <laughs> so Honora is just thanking them because she has been out on her own up until this point so she's just gonna have a seat and we're just gonna get to know these guys a little bit better so they had a little bit of a rough meeting out on the street but of course everybody is just in sort of survival mode so this is Ronan Ronan is gonna go ahead and 
put his knife away. So let's go ahead and get him in a different outfit. Everyone is going to take their hoods down. So let me get that done. All right. So Anora is just sitting around the fire with everyone. They've all taken their hoods down. They're all starting to get to know each other a little bit. And so this sim on the left is Faye. And this is her older brother, Dante. And so Faye and Dante have just been telling Anora a little bit about how they ran off from home not too long ago. Their family, their house was robbed very similarly to Honora's family and their entire farm was burned to the ground and uh, their parents did not survive during that when they were trying to defend and protect their farm so these two decided to just head out on their own and see if they can make it and then this other sim this is Ronan Ronan, he's a little bit of a rogue. He is very mischievous, big prankster, not really sure if you can trust him. Obviously, he's the one who held up Adora at knife point, and so they don't know much about him. He hasn't shared his past, but so far these guys have just been sticking together to be able to gather food and everything like that. And then while they're just sitting here, I wanted to show you guys the lot. What I did was this was actually Caspian's cottage. It's really dark, so I'll have to show you like better during the daylight. So this has been a very dark episode with everything that Nora's doing happening at night during the gloomy winter. So you might have to turn your brightness way up, but they are here. This used to be Caspian's cottage. It's been a rundown for a really long time. And so I wanted that to be apparent, but they have basically set up their tents here inside and so they've just made themselves a little bit of a hideaway and so this is where Nora has found herself so she hasn't told them anything about Jasper or the castle but at least for right now she has made some potential friendships so Faye is just going to pull Nora aside and she is actually warning her about life out on the road alone being a woman so her herself she like cut off all of her hair to try to blend in with the boys a little bit better and so she is letting Anora know that she might want to consider like trying to blend in and pretend to be a man during this time when they're out a lot of you guys all suggested that in the comments and i always kind of saw that direction for Anora as well and now that she's met someone else who's like recommending that to her for her own safety i think that's something she might actually do so these guys let's see let's check Anora is really tired they've let her know that she can go ahead and go to sleep in one of her tents so she's gonna go ahead and get down but i'm super excited about these new characters i just want to go over a couple of their traits really quickly they're all really hungry as well but Faye is self-assured i gave them all the kleptomaniac trait um just so they would have the ability to steal if that um, becomes necessary. I gave them all the public enemy trait. I don't think any of them are necessarily bad except for maybe Ronan. Um, the rest of these guys are really just trying to survive but Faye is a little bit hot-headed, self-assured. She's very much like a Nora so I'm very and she's also a teen. I'm excited to see sort of how their friendship develops and evolves and then her older brother Dante he is a young adult a little bit of a goofball they remind me I made them purposely to remind me a lot of Adora and Jasper's relationship but I wanted to see that sort of mirrored in some people that she meets and then how does this relationship differ from Jasper and Adora because Dante is going to be very different than Jasper but he is also very self-assured, hot-headed. He's a goofball. He is a master of the blade. He is very good with his sword and so he is a huge protector for them and then of course Ronan has already gone to bed but he is self-assured klepto goofball um, whereas Dante is a little bit more of just like a funny goofball like Jasper and the Rosenthorns uh, Ronan is much more of a prankster um, but he is also a master of the blade very good with his sword I gave them all the archery skill and things like that and so I'm really excited to kind of see what happens, um, what does Honora decide to share with these guys? Does she build a friendship with them? Um, how do these guys all 
Okay, bye. And then another thing I want to do is I want to cheat their money back down to like 50 simoleons. I imagine these guys actually had a little bit of money um, from pickpocketing and stuff like that, but it added 2,000 simoleons when I brought Anora into the household. So I do want to cheat that. But I really love the vibe of this whole lot, and I thought it was really cool to utilize um, Caspian's old lot in a new way. So I hope you guys really like that. Um, for right now, I think I'm going to go ahead and end the episode here because I'd love to get you guys' feedback on what you guys would like to see in the next one. Um, the Runaway was very tricky to play. I feel like it would have been a lot easier if we had like open worlds and things like that. And so I tried to do my best. I had to re-record like several different times just to try to get the scenarios um, set up correctly. But I'm curious if Honora is gonna try to go see Jasper now that she's met, I call them the band of misfits, misfits now that she's met the band of misfits. Um, does she try to just link up with them and stay with them? Or is she more of a lone wolf and she's gonna kind of run off and do her own thing. So I feel like gameplay is kind of limited with the runaway situation, but we can get super creative and make it really fun. So that's what I've got so far for this episode. I can't wait to explore more. If you liked it, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Share all of your ideas in the comments. I love reading them, and I will see you guys in the next one.